The following is a fan-based parody. My Little Pony, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and My Little Pony Equestria Girls are all owned by Hasbro, Discovery Family, and Lauren Faust. Please support the official release. Thanks for being my basket holder, Spike. Basket holder? I thought it was your bodyguard! Rarity is a dick to the basket holder. I mean Spike. Rarity assumes Spike is controlling his glowing, something we've never seen him do before, and also knows it's him before she even turns around. Also, the glow is no brighter than both your horn and the light you were just shining a moment ago. My little frog. Skip! Glad you two could come. Of course. We so rarely get a chance to relax and just visit. Don't you mean you rarely get a speaking grow? There's usually some crisis we have to deal with. Some pony always needs our help. <laughs> what crisis? You guys never actually do anything. And why these cubs have hooks? Ponies don't have hands, so it's pretty much useless. Dragons glow whenever the Dragon Lord has need of them in the Dragonlands. We get it, they're dragons, but really? Dragon Lord? Dragon Land? What, did they fire the guy who comes up with the names? But, but, but the Dragonlands are full of dragons! And they're ghastly creatures! That's racist. It would be wise to be discreet. Oh, I'm sure I still have the dragon costume we used the last time we snuck into the Dragonlands. <laughs> Why? Why would you ever keep that monstrosity? It's not supposed to be flattering, it's supposed to blend in. Except for the giant eyes. Really? Then why aren't you sitting on it? <laughs> this white and pink dragon has an ask blog called Closet Fizzo. It's not really a bad thing unless you know what the blog is about and why it's weird seeing him in the Y7 show. Scepter from the heart of the flame Kano will be crowned Lord of the Dragon! What exactly does a Dragon Lord do? It's never covered in the episode and we've never heard or seen him before in other Dragon episodes. According to Dragon Law, it is time for me to step down. Why? Shouldn't the strongest lead until he's unfit to do so? <laughs> Implausible aim. Also, why did none of the dragons just fly to the top? Only dragons with my ferocity, strength, and determination! Insert Undertale joke here. It was designed for a big, strong dragon to win, because it takes a big, strong dragon to lead! Why wouldn't you want your child to be the next Dilva King? Do you even know how monarchies work? Ha! You, please! When I win, I will pillage Equestria for all their pillows. Why are all the dragons dumb? Aren't dragons supposed to be wise and intelligent? This whole take on dragons annoys me each time they're shown. There's only one thing to do, and only I can do it. I have to win the gauntlet of fire. I'm pretty sure Harry Potter already beat you at that already. It's the only way to protect Equestria from the dragons. You heard them. They have horrible plans for ponies if they win. Horrible plans like stealing pillows. These sea creatures never once even attempt to eat Spike. Also, the dragon in the golden armor is the princess, but you notice that she's green. Well, I guess she somehow found time to paint herself? Spike, being roughly half her size, was able to dive underneath the water after her and pull her up with her armor on. I'll show him, and every dragon who thinks I'm just some little princess, there are better things than being big and strong. Typically, this rhetoric is used for females competing in all-male fields, but there are females who are actually competing in this competition, so what's the moral? We're together? Haven't we already seen this before? Ah, uh, now you do it. Your pony friends made you soft. 
Uh -huh. Isn't it more embarrassing to have a pony dragon have to save you? Why did you cover for me? You could have had one less competitor. Yeah, why did you cover for her? If all it took was people knowing who she was for her to lose, then why did she never put back on her helmet? Where did you get the costumes? They never address where they get the costumes or how they keep getting past the traps, but instead do some sort of cute joke about it that's more annoying than funny. Really? Great! It's a deal! The princess doesn't know how to shake hands, but you would think one of the few species with hands would understand what the gesture is. Oh look, a reference. It was nothing. Nothing? You just risked everything to save her. What? How did he risk everything there? He was clearly on the safe side of the ledge. Not only that, but he saved you in the cave when he could have been impaled. Oh, you're better off. She was only looking out for herself. She's just like all the other dragons. That's racist. Is it just me, or have we seen this crevice three times already? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. They all look the same. Except for this one! What? What was the point of talking about how all the tunnels look the same if that wasn't going to be a plot point? We have to do something! Look! No! The princess comes from the area where the staff was, but never grabbed it. Spike doesn't grab his scepter, so he could... Uh... He's gonna do it! Randy Orton! Okay. And cue the shipping. Hey there guys, it's me Faith from Eliminates, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And once again, if we hit 1200 likes this time, because we were really close to the 1000 likes, we'll get you guys a free shirt. One of you guys a free shirt. Now if you don't like those odds, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and just go buy a shirt. Or if you want to really support the channel as well, but you don't want to spend the $20, then you could become a patron. Tiers from one to fifty dollars get you a chance to win a free shirt. If you're in the fifty dollar tier, you get all the other tiers, goes and stuff. Plus, you just get a shirt outright. So let me know what you guys think down below about the video. And did I miss a sin? Did you see something that I didn't? Let me know.